The father's standing out one day and his young son, about six years old, asked him, Dad, what is the size of God? They're standing outside and kids can ask some of the darnest questions. What is the size of God? How, as a father, do you answer that? While he's trying to figure out how to respond to his son, he's looking up, as we often do when we don't know what to say. And he sees an airplane. And so he asks the son, son, what's the size of that airplane? His son looks up and said, that's really tiny. It's so small. It's really tiny. And then he gets his young son in the car and they drive to the airport and they get out and as they're approaching they can see from the side a giant aircraft and then he asks again what's the size of that plane and his little son said it's so big it's so big and the father explains to him that when you get closer to it, it seems bigger. And so he says, the closer that you are to God, the bigger and the greater that God seems to you. The farther that you are away from him, the smaller that he seems and you begin to doubt what all he can do. And this is why the Bible says, draw near unto God and he will draw near to you. And as you draw near to God, it begins to embolden you with a faith that with God all things are possible because you see the greatness of God. If you're closer to God than you are towards your problem, then your problem begins to diminish and God looms over your problem but when you're too close to the problem or to the person who is the problem it obscures your perception of God and the answer is to draw close and sometimes we just need to get close to it so that we see that my God is enormous He's the one that spat out the seven seas. He's a huge God. And the closer that you are to him, the bigger that you realize that God is. He is enormous. And your problems are minuscule. 